restrictions. Southern California drivers are feeling the squeeze of high gas prices yet again. Yeah, the average price in LA County has now increased 53 times in 58 days and overnight for the first time in nearly a year. The average price for a gallon of regular surge past $6 in L.A., 72 cents higher than just a month ago. KTLA Samantha Cortese live in Studio City with a reminder to read the posted prices closely. Sam. Micah and MB behind me, it says 639 for a gallon of regular. We're in Studio City at Laurel Canyon and uh, Riverside. 639 with a car wash and diesel, you'll pay up to $7.59 a gallon. These prices are outrageous and people we spoke with here, especially one man who runs a business around cars said he's so fed up and just doesn't understand why more people aren't demanding lawmakers do something to change it killing me. It's killing me. It's gas prices, insurance in California. Now the customer, they cannot buy the insurance. Alan sells cars in North Hollywood. Here at Laurel Canyon and Riverside, he was filling up one of the cars he's trying to sell. But he says between the economy and now gas prices, people are struggling. And he says it is time for our leaders to step up. It doesn't make sense. We're killing our businesses. We're killing our economy. We're killing our people. And Every day we pay extra money, extra money, extra tax, everything, and it's not helping. Take a look at the current average of, for a gallon of regular gas, according to AAA. Six dollars, two cents in L.A. County and Long Beach. Same in Orange County. Riverside, five dollars, 84 cents. San Bernardino, five dollars, 89 cents. And in Ventura, just shy of six dollars. And when you're at the gas station, look closely at the signage. That is the price with a car wash. This gas price over here is kind of high, so maybe a different one next time. <laughs> Prices will be high no matter where you are in California right now. More than one dollar of each gallon can be attributed to state and federal excise taxes, state and local sales tax, and fees. AAA spokesperson Doug Shoup expects relief to come at the end of the month. It's been a frustrating few weeks. I mean, this is the time of year when historically we see the prices at the pump falling. But this year has been very different as a result of those increasing crude oil prices and the regional refinery issues that have been experienced lately. And usually we're paying those higher prices until we see relief. And that relief is either the refineries coming back online or the, the, the shipments of uh, foreign imports arriving. We're expected to see those cargoes arriving of foreign imports at the end of this month. But still not soon enough for a lot of people. We are inching closer to that all-time national average high of $6.49, which we hit on October 5th of last year. And Micah and MB, I will push to the web because we have a very heated, interesting conversation about this with David Lazarus. A lot of people wondering why not domestically drill. Alan voiced that concern as well. But for the expert opinions, you can see that at KTLA.com. In Studio City, Samantha Cortese, back to you. Age-old conversation around here. Sam, thanks.